Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jersey Styles. Today I'm gonna show you how I pre-poo my hair. My hair is in a three-day twist out. Um, I just pulled it back in a puff for today. Um, take this off. And I do my pre-poo with extra virgin olive oil. Um, sometimes I'll mix other oils in it, um, just on a spur. But for the most part, I normally just use extra virgin olive oil to get my um, pre-poo done. And if you guys don't know what pre-poos are for, I'm just going to split my hair in four sections right now. But um, if you guys don't know what pre-poos are for, it's basically something you do before you shampoo your hair. Because, you know, you know a lot of times um, shampooing your hair can dry your hair out. And it can cause you to have dry, stripped, squeaky clean type of hair. And even if you don't use a sulfate shampoo, um, you can still get um, the feeling of dry hair, you know, because I know I do sometimes, even when I um, don't, because I, I don't use any sulfate shampoos anymore, but there's times when uh, my hair will still feel ultra dry when I shampoo my hair. And I'm shampooing my hair because I use gel. Whenever I have a lot of product build up, or use gel, I will go ahead and I will um, shampoo my hair. So to protect my hair from getting totally dried out and to basically loosen the kinks and to just be able to manage it while I'm shampooing, I do this pre-poo. And all I do is um, I lightly spritz my hair with um, just water. It doesn't have to be like wet or anything. It just has to be lightly spritzed. And then I just take little sections by little sections. And I um, take my extra virgin olive oil. It's right here. And I just take a little bit. And I put it through the hair. And I do not put it on my scalp. Um, I only put it on the ends of my hair. Um, to protect it. Because you don't want... Um, oil and grease all on your scalp you know causing it to be clogged or anything like that or um, even more build up because you're the you're you want your scalp to be um, clean you really do so you don't want to protect your scalp from the shampoo you really want to protect your hair itself and by doing this you allow your hair to stay moisturized I used to do this once a week but since I got my huge huge full steamer I'll just like use conditioner and then sit under the full steamer for 20 minutes after I shampoo. But honestly, I should be doing this um, regularly. Every time before I shampoo, I should be doing this. So this is one of the um, things I do for my regimen. A lot of people are asking me about what I do for my regimen, how do I get my hair to grow um, to the length that it is in a, um, I guess, short period of time. Some people say it's a short. I don't think it's really that short. But, um... This is one of the things I did since I BC'd and I stayed doing this all the way up until I got my steamer. And it helps. So I definitely do it every time I shampoo, but I still used to do it like um, once a week um, before I co-wash. And it's really simple. Just run the extra virgin olive oil through the hair. Make sure you do not get it on the scalp because you want your scalp to be clean a clean scalp is a, a ground breeding ground for healthy growing hair so and after I finish doing all of this I will take a plastic um, cap or a Walmart shopping bag if I'm running low on plastic caps and I'll just tie that around my hair and I'll let it sit for um, a few hours but a lot of times I go ahead and let it sit overnight but um, it doesn't affect me so I know some people have issues and you can't be sleeping with black bags overnight fainting and stuff so be mindful of that as well but for me I've never had any problems you know sleeping with the bag on my hair overnight with the oil in it. hey just checking in show you guys my hair with the extra virgin olive oil in it it's really cute. I actually think I'll really try the wash and go with the um, extra virgin olive oil as the base. But all I'm going to do now, hold on, let me grab a little more of the olive oil and I'll put that on my ends. 
two more. But since I don't have a shower cap, I'm going to take my shopping bag here. So that's it. Bye guys.